Whilst in general, you'll be categorizing transactions directly from your bank feed, occasionally you will need to add transactions manually. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. And the first example I'm going to show you is adding rental income. So we can see here Robert Green, uh, he's currently in arrears. Uh, and if we go into his rent table and we scroll down, we can see that there's a missing payment in June. Now, let's say that Robert actually paid me in cash. It's really easy to deal with. All I need to do is click this button at the end that says actions. Uh, I can leave it as mark as paid. I can select the amount and hit save. If we scroll down, you can now see for June, it now says a manual payment rather than bank to bank, and there's no more arrears. Um, now, please be aware though, when you mark something as paid, it does create a transaction in Hammock. So you only want to do this if there is no actual bank transaction that you could have used instead. Now we can also look at how we add expenses manually. So let's head over to the transaction screen. And if we scroll down, you'll see here on the right hand side above your transactions, there's a button here called add transaction manually. Now, this is where we're going to select income or expense. So in this instance, we'll, we'll click expense. We can then say what it is. So let's say I had to pay for some new keys uh, and I paid for that in cash. Um, this is adding uh, a, a single transaction. You can also add recurring transactions. So if, for example, you wanted to backfill um, a load of insurance payments or mortgage payments, you can just click here. Is this a recurring transaction? Put the start date, the end date and the frequency and Hammett will create those for you. Um, in this case, we're just going to add one transaction. Let's say we paid for this today. It costs £10. You can then search for a category, or I can even use this search bar. We're going to look for a replacement of items. I can then select the property. So it was a one-off payment and hit save. And straight away, you'll see the manual transaction has been created in the transaction list. It's feeding your P&L and your tax statement, but you can see on the right hand side here, it's clearly a manual payment rather than a bank payment. So do make sure you're only adding manual payments if that transaction doesn't already exist in your bank feed.